What's up, YouTube and the internet? How are you today? I think it's day 22, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, it's, I just woke up. I'm just about to go take a shower, but uh, today is drug test day. So, here we go. They haven't called me to tell me what time yet, but today they're supposed to be doing that. Woohoo. Um. Beyond that, um. There's something that's a little weird. Uh. In the morning, it was about. 9 a.m., my phone rang, and I thought it was Walmart calling me for the drug test. But I got it really late. Um. I don't know why I woke up, you know, just. Anyway. So I pick it up, and it's uh, it's the correctional facility here, the jail, like the prison. I don't know about prison, but but the jail here. But you know how it's supposed to say, "Will you accept a collect call from blah blah blah?" And then it it says the person's name. It never said the person's name. It just kept saying the correctional facility. So I was sitting there thinking whether I should accept the collect call. And then it dies out, like the phone just cuts off and immediately my phone's just turned off again. I don't, I don't know if it was a reception thing, if someone realized it was a wrong number and hung up. I don't know what happened, but I never knew who called. I was going to call the jail back, but I don't know anyone in Nashville. Who could it be? It had to have been a wrong number. I don't, I literally know my uncle and my grandfather, and I, I know they're not in jail. What's up, guys? So, now I'm going to tell you... What really pisses me off. So as I told you earlier today, um, I got a call from the correctional facility here in Nashville. And, you know, it's weird because I don't know anyone in Nashville, so who would call me? So here's the thing. First of all, I thought that if you were in jail, you could not call cell phones. I thought that was the rule. But somehow they keep calling my cell phone. Okay. So there's that. They called again just earlier, and it said, you have received a call from blah 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 correctional facility, would you like to accept a collect call? And I finally figured, okay, if they called me twice, I'll do it. I want to see who this is. Usually, when you get a call from a jail, I don't know if you guys have ever had calls from, from a prison before, or jail, whatever, but uh, usually it will say the name of who it is. Like, it'll say, you have received a call from, and then I'll be recording from your friend saying, Jim Stewart. This didn't have one. It, would, it kept saying, you received a collect call from the inmate correctional facility. And I'm like, okay, that tells me nothing. So that pisses me off. Then I finally say, okay, I'll accept the dollar or two dollars, whatever. I got to see who this is. So I hit, you know, press two to accept collect call. I press two. You have to set up an account on some crazy... Uh, some crazy new collect call cell phone business. Okay, so I'm like, all right, set up an account, whatever. The only payments you can make are in $25 and $50 interval intervals from your credit card. Listen, I'm curious. I am not $25 curious, especially if I know there was no one in this state that should be calling me like I have any money in the first place to bail anyone out. Right. So that's what it is. I'm a little worried it's one of my friends because I haven't been able to get in contact with her lately. And, you know, she might have decided to just randomly show up here. So I, I don't know. But if I get another call from it, I'm just going to call the correctional facility and list off all my friends' names that might even close to be in Nashville and see if there's any inmates by that name, and then I'll know. But at this time, I'm not $25 curious, so. Well, I am out of soda. And anyone that knows me knows that that is just unacceptable. It is not allowed. It is unallowed. So I'm going to go to the corner store now. Grab some soda. Got some hot dogs coming my way, and I don't want to drink water with hot dogs, I mean. Alrighty, so the next part of this video is dedicated to my friend in Alaska named Jason. Obviously, I'm not going to say his last name. 
Um, the reason is because this is the first time in the history of my life that I have bought whiskey solely for my own consumption and not because I was getting it for a party. Um, I actually wanted it. I got Jameson. Jason will be happy of that. Um, and yeah. So, hats off to you, Jason, for introducing me to whiskey, and now I've kind of got a taste for it. Ah, uh, I know. It's so weird. I was always a vodka man, but I've noticed that vodka really just gives you a fucking brutal hangover, just at least compared to the other ones, and especially the amount that I drink now. It's... I drank a lot of Jameson that one night, um... <clears throat> when I was on the ground. I think you guys will remember that. But I drank some Jameson that night, and, uh... It turned out, you know, I, I drank about as much as I would normally drink, uh... Vodka, and the hang... I, I you know little dry mouth, maybe a teeny bit of a headache, but nothing compared to some of the hangovers I've had with Sky and, and uh, you know, some of the lower end vodkas that aren't, of course, Belvedere or Grey Goose, which usually they don't give me too much of a hangover unless I go nuts.